Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today is day number four of our New Year Beginner Challenge. Today is a 30 minute power walk. So if you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry, don't want you to freak out because we're going to have all that displayed for you to see on your screen right over here. And then if you look over onto the opposite side of your screen, you're going to see this nice long progression bar. That's going to show you where we are from start to finish through the whole entire workout. Again, let's always make sure we have a water bottle and a towel handy because we are going to get sweaty. So if you're ready to get sweaty, let's look down on that tread. Hit that start button in three, two, and one. Here we go. Two, five, three, five on that clock. You're here for 90 seconds. 90 whole seconds. Right in two, five is, you can tell it's a nice leisure pace. We start picking it up every 30 seconds. Here we go. Maybe, give me 0.1.2. So, you're like, what's in store, Rachel? Just, we get it. We got to warm up for 90 seconds. We get it. We'll add on pace. What are we doing today? All right. Well, let me tell you. Add on a little bit more <laughs> pace first. Second of all, power walk. So what are we going to do? Remember day number two, right? Was it day number two where we did the incline walks? Kind of the same. It's like her, this is like her older sister, okay? Version of that workout. So instead of going up the hill, every interval will pick up pace. So just to go over a little bit of walking info on the treadmill. Pick up that pace one more time, three, two, one. So it should be on the higher end, two, five, three, five. There's a lot of difference, right? If you're running, running at a five and running at a six, five, so there's a bigger gap, right? But you're still kind of jogging the whole entire time. For walking, a lot happens between that 3.0 and 4.0 miles per hour. We're going to take it up three, five, four, five. Our first power walk, three, two, one. So push it, right? This is faster than you normally walk. So there's not as much wiggle room. So we're, we're regularly walking right on our flat road at a 3040. Our power walks are always going to be three, five, four, five. That, that goes for the whole entire day, for the whole entire workout. So you don't have to go at a four, five honestly think I start jogging at a four or five. Don't have to do that. But just notice what is fast and what is really fast that you're still walking and not turning it into a shuffle almost. You don't want it to be shuffling. We want one foot on the ground the whole entire time, digging the heel in and pressing back and pushing and squeezing the glue. Okay? Power walk, flat road walk. So you're going to be sweatier. You're picking up the pace, man. You're going to feel it in the core. So we're here, you got another minute left, okay? And then we'll take it back down. So again, it's three, five, four, five. I know maybe we're still warming up, so maybe we didn't put on a lot of pace just now, but give me a little bit extra, okay? So go to your, how about you test the theory right here on how fast you can get your power walk. You have about 40 seconds, right? Every 10, 15 seconds, see if you can add on point one. Add on point one again. Let's try it right now. Add on point one. Are you still walking? Are you, are you happy? Are you, are you settled down and pushing off the legs? All right. You have 30 seconds. Let's do it again. Are you still walking? Ooh, baby. See, that's a power walk right there. Power walking got the hips moving. You see them power walkers, Olympic power walkers? Their bodies are like pure muscle. Who said walking wasn't work out? You ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. This is it. Here we go. All right. So we take it down to a warm up walk. Okay. 3040. Oh, oh, three, two, one. Take it back down. Breathe. 90 seconds here. We go right into the workout. Did I say it was 30 minutes? It's 30 minutes. How it's going to work? There's no blocks in this workout. You're two minutes on, one minute flat road. It's not a break right? It's not a recovery. So our power walks again, three, five, four, five, what we just did, what you just built yourself up to, right? Remember we were doing slowly adding it on, slowly adding it on, seeing how fast we can walk without falling <laughs> off the back of the treadmill. That's where we want to be in our power walk. This could be your flat road. For me, I'm not actually at a 4.0 yet. I'm at a 3.8. I'm going to take it to my 4.0. This will be my flat road. And when I go to my power walk, I'm gonna really try to get to four, 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 five. Really try, okay? 
I'm good at 4-3 without dying. <laughs> I know my limits. Do you know your limits? That's why I was giving you a little bit of a little bit of play time in the beginning. All right. Get ready for it. The good news is really no inclines. Like I said, really no inclines. If your tread goes to 0.5, add it on. Here we go. <laughs> 20 seconds. Our first power walk at our 3 5 4 5. You only have six rounds. And eight. And seven. And six. Five. Four. Breathe. Three. Two. Add it on, baby. Just a little bit faster. Good. Gotta move a little harder. Move a little quicker. Pump the arms a little bit more. And then focus on the breath. Now, if you go back to the other walk, we're walking on the incline hard for a different reason. Inclines are hard. Walking faster out of your comfort zone is also hard. So, I feel like we're going to feel more sweatier in this workout. You're welcome, team. Here we go. And you're 30 seconds in. 30 seconds to go. How are you feeling from yesterday? If that was like the first time you really ran that long, right, or that fast, give yourself some credit, all right? You're doing a great job. It's a challenge, like I said, it's not designed to be easy. It's designed to be finishable, but still a challenge. Guess what? You're one minute in, one minute to go. How are you feeling on this power walk? You're like, ooh, right? The longer you have to hold the pace, the more you're starting to feel it. That's good. It doesn't have to get crazier than it is right now. That's the best part about it. We just kind of coast, chill. I wish I had like a trivia game to play. <laughs> I'm just playing trivia games. <laughs> 40 seconds. I'm like one of those people don't really think I'm like the smartest person in the world, but you get me on a trivia game for some reason, nail it. This is like a sort of useless random facts. Got it. All right. 20 seconds. We go back down 3 0, 4 0, and another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 3 0. 4-0, flat road. Good, 0.5 if you can. I kept hitting mine. It was like up to a three, up to a two. You got these wild hand gestures. You starting to feel that in your core? Ooh, baby, that's what I'm looking for right there. As that arm swing, right? You're moving the arms, but it's working the back. It's working the front core. Remember your core isn't just your stomach. A lot of people think, oh, I gotta do core. I'm just doing abs. You want to strengthen your core, it's the lower back, right? It's the hip flexors. It's this whole trunk section all the way around. You want a nice six pack? You still got to work the backside. That's how it works. That's, I didn't make the rules. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I like cookies. Here we go. 10 seconds. Eight. Get ready. To take it up. Our power walk number two, three, five, four, five. In three, two, one. Pick it up. Pick it up, two minutes. You're already on two of six. Just keep completing them one at a time. Once you get halfway there, you're just picking them off, picking them off, getting it done. If you are like new to this channel, I know I've said this before if you followed us along, but when I started like my fitness journey, I wanna say I just had like my kids. Kids are a little older, 15, 13, and I honestly would just put them both in the stroller and I would go for like a nice long walk. Let me tell you, them suckers, them kids, they get pretty heavy <laughs> when you're carrying your jogging stroller. You got like the two, the double seater. You filled it with whatever it is you're taking to the park that day, the toys, the blankets, whatever it is. That thing was like 75 pounds, I want to say. And this is how I started. That's how I started, and it, I really did, really did help my body. And it was good for the kids, right? Everybody was happy. So there's options. I know that we're on the treadmill now. You could still kind of put this on speaker. This one, definitely. Because all you're doing is picking up the pace. You could just walk off the treadmill. You could enjoy the sun. But there is a place where you start. That's where, what my point is, 
right? I didn't start being able to run miles at a time. I honestly just started doing that like four or five years ago. It took practice. It honestly, running scared the crap out of me. I like to walk because walk is peaceful, right? And that's what I would used to do for my cardio. So I started here and I have never stopped since the pandemic and I went on to run a marathon. So listen, if you are like struggling right now with this, that's okay. That's okay. This is the beginning of your journey. Enjoy the first few chapters. Everything's new. Everything's exciting. Take it down 3040. Don't quit though. All right, don't just do these seven days and be like, well, I did it. I knocked it off my bucket list. This beautiful piece of machinery that we get to walk around in, it requires maintenance. It requires love, nourishment. It's like our one job that we all fail at because we don't put it as number one. We don't treat this thing as the most precious thing in the world. You don't expect other people to do it. it ain't gonna happen. One body, one life. Got treated nice. Here we go. 25 seconds. We pick it up again. Who would have knew I was the walking guru, huh? Just put it on a shirt. <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> I just want to like be serious about it though because here we go three two one pick it up three five four five because I've lived the other side of it and I know what it feels like now I just want to like be a person to tell you it's gonna happen if you stay in it if you keep going and you don't quit even if you're crying on this treadmill even if you feel guilty that the kids are watching you play while you're on here working on yourself trust me that part still struggle, right? But it's worth it, your little bit of happiness. I know I talk about being moms all the time. This is because I am one, you know? And that mom guilt is so real, so real. You're like taking this time, right? 30 minutes to yourself. If you're a newer mom and you're like, but I could be doing laundry, I could be making dinner I could be coming up with like all these things to do and you put yourself on the back burner and you do that day in and day out and you start just chipping a little bit away at yourself you start not liking that version of you you see in the mirror it happens honey it happens even if you're a dad it happens honey all right you gotta pull yourself out of it yeah you want to think your spouse or your partner is gonna be the person to help bring you out they can try they can try your family's gonna help bring you out, they can try. Any friends, they're gonna help pull you out, they can try. But if you're not willing to put in the work yourself, it's never gonna happen. Let's go, guys. So every time you feel like this pace is too fast, just remember how bad you want it. 20 seconds. Everybody drink your matcha tea after this, okay? 15 seconds. See, I spilled the water everywhere. You have six, five, four, three, two, slow it down. Three, oh, four, oh. Oh, all right, season. Guess what, guys? You only have three more rounds. We did it those three times. We're halfway through the workout, basically. We have a bonus round. Like we did it this, like we didn't work out number two. Okay, there's a bonus round. So three more power walks I'm gonna just tell you that right now I'm not gonna even be mean and keep it to the end the last one oh, oh, oh spoiler alert, is incline walk okay you've done that before and the pace is on the slower side so it's a good bonus not a hard one okay 15 seconds let's do it again. let's do it again power walk number four three five four five you ready for it getting a little sweaty now huh you feel it just like the beads going down the lower back drip 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 mode three two one pick it up four two four three four two four three who you want to be pump the arms just keep going just keep squeezing the glutes sometimes i like to focus on the butt cheek squeeze 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 why come on 
I don't want that booty to pick up, you know? I'm trying to get a dump truck, I'm trying to get a pickup truck. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for today. Ugh. And in my head, that analogy works so well. I wish somebody could like animate the the visual I had in my head. <laughs> All right, we're working on a pickup truck, <laughs> picking up the booty. Here we go. <laughs> Got another minute left here, and then guess what? Two more of these. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A little shadow box in here. You know, whatever keeps you motivated. <laughs> Got the hand weights. Whatever it is. Just keep going. You're 15 minutes in. Did we end at 27 minutes? We end at 27. Not even a full 30. 45 seconds. So you really only have... I know we have two more power walks, but we have that incline walk. So three more rounds to the finish line. Six more minutes of work that we pick up the pace or pick up the power. I'm not going to call it hard work because that's just your own perspective of it. Just work, just not hard work, just more work. All right, 20 seconds. <clears throat> so like if you're having like a stressful day when you get out of the seven day challenge, right? And you say you're like, you get so used to doing the same things over again. Five, four, three, two, take it down. Three, oh, four, oh. So you do get used to like, if you are a runner, you get used to running. If you're a walker, you get used to walking. You go outside, you walk the same path. You go on the treadmill, you do the same walks. A, that's why these, these workouts are great. Kind of keep you a little bit guessing. But B, I forgot what B is. Just keep moving. <laughs> but B, just love it. Love it. Love the workout. Appreciate it. I had a point to it. It was in one ear and out the other. Okay? We go. 25 seconds. Power walk number five. Three, five, four, five on the clock. And another 20 seconds. Whew. Squeeze. Squeeze the lower abdominals also. I feel that I'm oblique sometimes. If I think about it, right? Five, four, three, two, three, five, four, five. If I really think about the muscles, I guess kind of focus on squeezing my core, squeeze the upper abs. Now take it to the side and now pump the arms, right? Engage everything. So a lot of times we go just through the motions. We have no mind-body connection. We're just kind of like, I know I need to walk, but you're not, you're not like rolling your shoulders back, tucking it in, squeezing the core. You know what I mean? Pushing off the heel. All these little tiny adjustments are gonna keep you tuned in with your body. And you're gonna make sure you're working the right muscles. Also, when you have that mind-body connection, I read an article that says you work harder. So your mind will start to drift. Bring it back. Think, pump the arms, squeeze the glutes, push off the feet, the feet. feel it in the calves. Inhale through the nose. And you don't have to do that the whole entire workout, but when your mind goes drifting, pull it back in. Check in with your form. Come on. One more minute here. One more. Just for one minute's sake, you know? Just keep going. So we go down to our flat road after this. And then our last power walk. Oh. 18 minutes in. Let's go, baby. Let's go. One foot in front of the other. Mm-hmm. How you feeling? You alright? You're okay. You're like, yeah, I'm just walking. Just walking. Oh, nice, easy, walkable, doable workout today. Here we go. 15 seconds. We take it back down to the flat road. 3040. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three to walk it out. All right, one minute here, and our last power walk, one minute again, and our incline. I didn't tell you what the incline was. I'm not gonna tell you what the incline is till we get there though. Honestly, it's not bad. So, you don't have to worry. Here we go, I'm getting the chills. 
getting the chills up the spine. You know why? Because I got a tinkle. You ever had the tinkle chills? <laughs> Walking, you get them, and you're stuck out there in the middle of nowhere, and you're just going to have to hold it. <laughs> it's a real problem, guys. Okay? Let's go. 20 seconds. <sighs> yeah, everybody knows. You're a walker, you're a runner, you know. And you try to hold out as long as you can so you don't mess up the time. How many of you are like real sticklers for time on your treadmill? Let's take it up. Our last one, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Last power walk. Clarification. How many of you are so meticulous? Because I'm one of those people. It can't be 55 minutes or 58 minutes or 59 minutes and 50 seconds. It's gotta be 60. It's gotta be four miles on the dot. It's gotta be 300 calories. Whatever it is that I'm looking for, it's gotta be the number. Because if I don't, I've ruined my whole day. Anybody, do, anybody have that mindset? I'm not saying I really ruined my day, but it would really just be like, why did I do that? Why didn't I just take a few extra steps, run a little longer? Why did I quit? Why did I hold myself back? I'll start internally asking myself these questions. Now I'm not happy with it. So you might be one of those people. If not, you will slowly become. It happens. Get ready. Coming up to the last minute of our power walk. Here we go. In three, two, one. Now you can walk like a robot. I'm just kidding, don't, don't. Don't walk like a robot. I'm kidding, you can walk like a robot. All robots, totally accepted. Okay. Here we go, guys. Just a little bit longer. A little bit stronger. 40 seconds to go. You ready for that flat road? The good news is that the pace for our incline walk is the same pace as our flat road. So you're dying here, right? But you can hold that flat road. You'll be all right. 20 seconds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you're gonna feel good after this. You're not gonna be like spent, right? Your energy level's not gonna be low. It's gonna give you just enough work to just explode for the rest of the day. Three, two, one. Take it down. 3 0, 4 0. One minute. And then our two minute incline, only on a four. Remember what we did the other day? I think we went up to an eight, and that's when you really start to feel it. The six, seven, eight. Four, we started to feel it, but it wasn't like so aggressive. You're gonna be fine, all right? It's just a little bit something different. Activate a little bit of different muscles within the body. 30 seconds, you give me that four on the incline. <clears throat> then we get to adjust be done with our day. Are you guys stretching though? Are you hydrating? All of this will help. Anybody, let me know also if you had like a, you did the seven day challenge, but you also added like your own personal challenge on. Like maybe you really liked having your glass of wine at the end of the day and you're like, for seven days, here we go, take it up, four on the incline. For these seven days, I'm gonna commit to these workouts and I'm just not gonna have any wine. Or you're like, no carbs. Or you're like, no sugar. If you're doing that, let me know. I wanna know where your head goes. What, what kind of like, what's your yin to your yang to help you feel full, fully better inside and out, you know? I'm kinda curious. It's good to know. I didn't give up anything for these seven days, but next time, maybe we'll do like a, a healthy eating challenge with it. Something new, something exciting. How's this for on the incline though? Can you even tell? Just listen to me babble on and you're like, oh, I didn't even realize smoking a pill. Gotcha again, huh? Gotcha again. <laughs> That's what they got me for. Keep you distracted. Focus but distracted. <laughs> I don't know. I think I said it before. I'm pretty sure my mom dropped me on my head. Love her though. I was kidding. I love working out. That's why I like try to get you guys to feel the vibe, right? This can be the best part of your life. You gotta just learn to accept it. It's your you time. Let's go. 45 seconds. 
Keep it going. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Last 30. How's everybody feeling? Ready to be done? You still got a two minute cooldown, okay? Don't, you, don't, don't be crazy. You're still with me. Okay? You got 15 seconds here now. And then we take it down to that 3040. And it's your real recovery moment because we didn't have a recovery. We only had a flat road, right? So if you were at that 40 the whole time, you could take it a little bit further down. Stay between the guidelines. Flat road. 3040. <laughs> that was a, like the chill got it was a deep one in there we're almost there we're almost there we're almost there, we're almost there. You guys don't know you feel my pain let's go it's not gonna happen I'm stronger i tell my body what to do okay yeah i know you do too you can wait two minutes all right 90 seconds left and then we're fully finished 30 seconds you take it down to a two five three five inhale through the nose exhale let it go just mentally check in how are you feeling you don't have to say it out loud but like how are you feeling you feeling good like, yeah not so bad if your legs were sore you kind of like like walked it out then maybe don't feel as sore eight seven six five four three two two five three five man when i started my my workout journey my running walking journey calves always sore shins always sore ankle sore you get used to it you're training those muscles they suck at first there is a light at the end of the tunnel okay remember remember there's a secret emoji at the end of these workouts the eyes all all eyes on you today if you can you finish this post this comment this let us know you did it all right I want to I want to like give you guys love and support let me know you finished it and you see your friends your family anybody else on the channel on Instagram posting this you know they did the same thing they're on the same journey you are give them a high five right show them some love let's recap two minutes on one minute off power walking at the end that bonus round just a just a regular paced flat road walk with a four incline that's it today this was day number four of our new year beginner challenge. It means we have three more days left, three more days of fun, right? I hope you guys are ready. You can hit that stop button in three, two, one. I'm Coach Rachel, this is Ibex Running. New year beginner challenge, day number four, 30 minute power walk. I'll see you tomorrow.